Raw Story has an incredible report out from a few days ago about a hilarious and terrifying old school judge in Texas. And I mean super traditional slash old school. So they say, quote, Justin Bundy stood before Smith County Judge Randall Rogers in mid-July on misdemeanor charges of assault after getting into a fight with the ex-boyfriend of his girlfriend at the time, Elizabeth Janes. According to Bundy, the judge gave him a choice, 15 days in jail or marry his girlfriend within 30 days as part of his probation. His sentence also included writing out Bible verses. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know what else the judge said? When this guy was explaining what he did and why he did it, he's like, I know my mom and dad had done raised me better, but I had to do it to protect my girlfriend's honor. The judge was like, you know, son, I probably would have done did the same thing. Here, here's what I'm going to do for you. He said, you, you marry her in 30 days or, you know, you spend 15 days in jail. And also, you got to read some Bible verses that I pick for you. I read this. I'm like, what fucking country are we living in? Is the year 1213 right now and I missed it? What's happening right now? I didn't know a court I didn't know a court could do that. In fact, I don't think a court can do that. A court can say, marry her, I'm putting you in jail. What is that? What is that? What else can they make you do? I mean, you're getting scary close to like, uh, come clean my bathrooms on Thursday or else you're going to jail. What what this is what we're dealing with here? This sounds to me like a common law approach to to dealing with crime, but we we don't have a system of common law. That's not how this that's not how it works. You don't give this wide discretion to the judge where they can pick anything. Get married and read the Bible. Well, the Bible thing obviously violates the First Amendment. It violates the Constitution. But even the marry thing, what the fuck is that? And they were like, look, man, the, our fam not everybody in our family could make it. It was too short notice. It wasn't like we expected. But they did it. They fucking did it. They got married. They got married. Man, th that's this is like borderline dictatorship slash theocracy slash I don't know what's going on, but look, I'm pleading to judges all throughout Red State America, pump your brakes. Just because you have an opinion on something doesn't mean that you get to impose on other people's lives. You know, whatever happened to the old school, you either have a fine, here's a fine, you have to pay the fine, or you have to go do some fucking community service. Go to a, a rehab center. These are the things, these are within your purview. You get the three days in jail, whatever. You can't, oh, I need you to clean my truck, get married to Denise, buy me a shotgun, wipe my ass, and do all this other stuff. You can't do that, man. You can't do that. This is America. These goofballs. I, I'm, I follow the news for a living, but every day I'm, I'm still surprised by something that's happening in, in the country that I didn't think was possible and I didn't think was allowed.